Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought we would use the Ace Beauty palette from the BoxyCharm and maybe some Makeup Geek. I don't know. I got some Makeup Geek shadows. If you guys didn't see, they've rebranded and she's come out with new shadows. Her new shadows are in square pans. So they had marked down all of, I guess, the round, pa uh, round pan uh, shadows. So I ordered, I actually had an extra here, but I'm going to put it, put it in here because I thought I was going to not keep it, but I am going to keep it because I already have one, but it's okay if I have two. Anywho, they had their little palettes, which I had this palette, the empty palette already. I think the empty palettes were $3 and some change. And their eyeshadow pans, pardon, were like $1.80. So I ordered nine enough to fill up this empty palette. And then they sent me a little four pan empty palette, which I'm putting in my giveaway stuff. Um, so it's going to go in my giveaway goody stuff. So I have these two palettes to play with and I thought I've used this one once and it is absolutely gorgeous. So we may play with these shadows today. I want to use something I've not used in a while. I'm going to grab the Physician's Formula. First I want a little bit of primer and I'm just grabbing the e.l.f. This is the Poreless Face Primer. You can get that for like six or eight dollars. I can't remember. That's the big bottle. And I'm just, just going to tap this around. Just mostly there in the areas I need it the most. And I'm going to use the Physician's Formula. My shade is LN4 is I guess light neutral four I don't know I know there's not a whole lot of shades in this we may pin the hair back Ooh. I think there's there's like six there's not there's not a whole lot of shades in that but it is a really good foundation so let's just see if this will clip clip back um you guys know i've been loving let me turn you just a hair just a hair turn it everything just a hair um the boxy charm brush that we got i just uh, just washed this one so now she's dirty again I just love how it smooths everything out. This is one of those, um, it reminds me a lot of the Wet n Wild. Oh, do I have one of those? The smell, yeah, the uh, photo focus. The smell reminds me a lot of that because it's got kind of that paint ish kind of scent it's not got you know the pleasant I've added a lot of perfumes to it to smell better kind of no it smells kind of like paint kind of like the wet and wild but it's still a good <laughs> it's still a good um it's okay I'm gonna grab this pretty vulgar we got it in Boxy charm, and I was kind of upset because it is way too dark for me. But I'm going to take a little bit of my AOA, which is really light, and I got this basically to do like cut creases, and then I don't really do cut creases. So I'm going to use a little bit of this toward the corner of my eye, and that was 2308 porcelain. It is definitely porcelain. And not my favorite concealer, by the way, but I mean, it is a dollar. That's why I got it to um, just do like cut creases. And you'll see the difference. Look at the difference. Oh my gosh. So I've never tried this before. But I don't want to waste this. I mean, I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to take that same brush and just 
tap this out and you can see that it's got for a dollar it's got some coverage to it and I just want to smooth out the edge so not bad mixing those two together not bad but look how orange this is on me I just don't understand when I did the little questionnaire and there's a <laughs> do y'all do that there's a straight hair that just will not leave you alone yank it <laughs> uh, I did the little questionnaire and it asks you like what concealers do you use and if you put down okay well I use ColourPop you know this shade or I use elf camo concealer in light beige why are you sending me something this, this much darker I don't I don't get it but anyway I'm gonna try to use it so I will mix those two together um so working on that, here's my Shop Missy powder. This is one thing that I do love. I love this powder. I'm going to go ahead and grab my e.l.f. Guys, I'm trying to do a project pan. Um, I've not like really been focusing on it, but I really want to work on that this year. You guys know this baby's almost gone. I did just... Um, use up as much as I could I'm tired of dig like doing like I'm doing now this one's almost used up too um the other I'm actually gonna call that one done concealer I was using nope part on Just tapping that out with my finger. I'm going to come in with the loose powder. And I had a little bit in the cap. Pat over the eyes. And this is a dollar powder. But I absolutely love it. This is in the shade Soft Light. Tap that extra back into the container because I don't want to lose it. Yeah, this is Soft Light in the Shop Miss A Perfect Setting Powder. Love this stuff. I always order like three of them. <laughs> so I have backups. I'm going into that pan that I'm trying to use up. I'm working on it. Just tap around the hairline. And guys, this is another dollar product. This is the uh, LA Colors Face Powder. But I really like this kind of container. And this is the only time I found it in this kind of container. Like the Stay Matte. It's usually in that little cheapy compact deal. And I bought another one. It's a little bit darker than this one. So I already have a backup. And I depotted it because it was in that little cheapy compact. Just really enforcing. There we go. That cheek. Trying to use it. We'll do some blush in a little bit. Some eyes are already set. I have the Ace Beauty, Beauté, however you want to say it. Absolutely love this packaging. I've used this once. Once. I'll go ahead and throw that down in the trash. Tuck you over here. And I have a Morphe of 503. And I'm going to come into Aruba. Just a little bit of Aruba. I am going to go ahead and tuck that under the brow. And yes, my brows are looking jaggy. I'm going to have to um, do some brow maintenance. But I'm going to go ahead and highlight the brow. There's not a really good setting shade in here, which is why I went ahead and set 
my eyes with the face powder. Oh man, the only colors I used was Aurora and Maui when I used it before. Oh, and I think I used a little bit of Sunset Rose. So those were the only three I used because I was using it with the Makeup Geek palette. So I think I'm going to go into... I've been doing a lot of berries lately, so I'm going to kind of not go over here right now. Guys, that picks up a ton. Did you see that? Going for something different because I know you get tired of seeing the same, same, same looks. I know. I know you do. Guys, this is so pigmented. I'm going to actually pat that down. And then pat, pat. And then kind of come up. That is definitely some pigment. Pigment, pigmented. You don't need, um, you don't need to worry about if that's not going to show up or not. And it's definitely going to show up. This is not my favorite brush. I'm going to have to switch over to the other Morphe brush. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. This one. This is the 433. Same shade. Yes. It's just more... That one's a lot more stiff. Maybe because I've not used it a whole lot. This one's just... it's stiff but fluffy that one wasn't giving me any fluff at all all right i'm gonna clean off all that pigment because guys there's plenty there to work with just fluffing it out which is not what that brush was doing so As this shears out, it's looking kind of, but you can't see it there. Here, where I'm shearing out, it's starting to almost get, let me make sure that brush is good and clean, a purpley kind of vibe. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, it's looking... Almost purpley. I'm going to come into a little bit of that Sunset Rose, which was the orange color. And just lightly fluff that edge. Just slightly fluff that edge. That's some intense, this eye. Always seems like it gets up a little bit higher, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We're just playing today. I'm looking for a four leaf clover. Guys, there is so much going on. I don't even don't even know what is going on. Oh, I didn't use hibiscus. I should have thrown hibiscus up in there. Hibiscus. Um, or pink moon. I'm going to use hibiscus right now. Pink moon. Give me that. Uh, give me this brush. This is a motor brush and it's really fluffy. This is almost like a pink sangria color. For those of you that drink pink sangria. <laughs> That's, it's so pigmented. 
I'm going to come in with hibiscus. Oh, yeah, that's better. Jamaica, ooh, I want to take a to Bermuda, Bahamas. I'm ready to go back to the Bahamas. I am. I'm so ready. Ooh, picked up a lot on that one. But it'll be okay. We're going to spread it out just like that. All right, where's that... Where's my brush? I was using actually no, I don't want that brush. I want this brush, which is that little luxe round. And I'm gonna go into Bahamas. I wanna go into Bahamas and tap 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 tap. deepen this up. I'm probably going to even deepen it up some more. We'll see. Have you guys played with this palette yet? Let me know your thoughts because she is, I don't think she needs much more. I'm going to go into nocturnal just a little bit, just right there. Mmm, mm, that is so pretty. Yes, that is dramatic. I'm going to come back with um, a clean, uh, kind of a kabuki style. It's flat top. Running it through the switch to make sure she's clean. And really kind of soften that up. If you go a little bit more dramatic than you meant to. Just come back and just kind of soften it all up. That needs some black liner. And what did I do with my Hank and Henry liner? What did I do with my Hank and Henry liner? I thought I had it right here. No? Oh, it's laying right here. Here's my thing with this Hank and Henry liner. I love it, but here lately, well, it's not going to do it now. The lid, because it's like a spring-loaded lid, it's like every time I touch it, the lid's been like just popping off. <laughs> like I reach in to grab a liner and I bump this one and the lid goes flying. What is the deal? So this definitely needs a dramatic eyeliner and that's as dramatic as I get because <laughs> with the hooded lid you can't really go much more than that I mean, you can, but I have not yet mastered it. Okay. So that is... The Hank and Henry liner. I'm going to leave you laying right there. And what are you? A waterproof eyeliner. I think this is a dark brown. 
tell them I'm dark brown. Where's my kitten? Where's my kitten one? Gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, this will work. This is the love. Um, oh, it's that brand. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that brand. I think he did fire his sister, though. Is that true? Does anybody know? Um, Too Faced with all of the drama with Nikki Tutorials and his sister, what she posted um, on her Instagram. Did they fire her? Was she actually an employee? Somebody clarify down below because that's, that's some tea I don't know. I'm going to... Come in with crimson, which was that orangey shade. And just, I think I'm just going to leave it right there. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I this brush. This one's a little more. Pinpointed. And then this is the nocturnal, the dark shade. Mm. I'm going to grab Anastasia. This is one I really need to use up, guys. I know I'm shaking. I'm sorry. Because this is one I've not even really got down into. And I've had it a while. See what I'm saying? It's not even really been... used up but I don't do my brows real heavy like that so but with this I look I think it needed it I think it needed it Yes, yes, this one is curving and this one's pointing. They always do that. <laughs> they always do that. So I need to leave that out. Dang gum. Dang gum, Miss Ellie. You know what I'm talking about. Dang gum. She says it all the time at work. Dang gum. It's like, I'm going to start calling you Little Mater. But yeah, to me, that's, that's really dark. And that's taupe. I mean, it's taupe. Do they have blonde? Do I need to do blonde? What do you think? Because that, to me, that's so dark. And that's, that's taupe. I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> and we're almost done, guys. I have decluttered all my mascaras where I've only got a couple, believe it or not. I had a sample of one, and I don't know where it went. It was the Milk Kush, and I really liked it. I've, I've lost it somewhere, so I'm grabbing the It Superhero. Not one of my faves. I know some people love it, but to me, it, it seems like it gets really clumpy really quick. So not one of my favorites. And it seems like we get it a lot in the subscription boxes. I skipped next month's Ipsy. Um, so you won't see me doing February's Ipsy. I apologize in advance. But the spoilers I've seen in the last couple months that we've gotten, which December was really good. Um, I just wasn't feeling Ipsy this month or the next, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to grab my BH Cosmetics because you have all these to choose from. And I'm going to tap off this one in the switch. And guys, I'm going to be bold. I'm going for the 
one of the darkest shades in the palette because I don't I don't go to that one. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm cleaning off my brush. Oh, and we're going to blend. Oh, Lord. I think there was still some in the blood in the brush. It got a little splotchy, right? You can see it right there, but it might have just been um I didn't powder good right there, but you see how much powder I put on. Okay, we're gonna cover that up with highlighter, but oh yeah, that's that's a stout color. I'll give it that. Okay, so there's a color I don't normally use. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of face powder, clean that brush off in my switch really good, Shannon. And I'm just gonna Tap it just across the cheek a little bit there and blend it down just to tone that down just a little bit. Just will be up. You didn't tone it down much, but it tone it down a little bit. So I have Becca, and this is Prosecco Pop. I need a here we go. Turning out to be a hoochie mama. Did I say that? I did not say that. Did I? I don't know the highlight. I think saving it. <laughs> it's saving it. I think once I get like a really bold lip on and I let my hair down and that white the white of my hair picks up those colors. This is just a clean brush. It's one of my Jeffree Stars. <laughs> um, lips. What you do for lips? I'm going to go very nude. This is Christmas Cookie. Actually, there is a lip liner right here. Um, Sephora. I don't know if this will work with that or not. I've never used it. It's a little bit, nothing but nude is the shade. That's so why I said it's a little bit. It's a little sample baby. I love this shade, Christmas cookie. Oh, that's perfect, actually. So that was Sephora Nothing But New Lip Liner. That is perfect with Christmas cookie. Learn something new every day, I swear. That's my hair has been up in a little pony bun all day, so but with the white, and guys, if you saw this in natural sun, it is very, very shiny and, and blinding. Um, I could bring my ring light closer, and you, I mean, you can see kind of right there, it is very white and shiny outside, so I think like. Out in natural sunlight, I could actually get away with this and not feel so overdone. 
but I would wear those eyes. I would just not go so heavy on the blush like I did. Do I have a makeup on my teeth? No, I don't. So yeah, that's, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been 30 minutes. It's time to go. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you guys are liking this palette. So far, I'm loving it. Super, super pigmented and blendable. And all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.